Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. Okay, so for a masculine out there, a divine masculine, there is a woman around you uh, that does not want you hearing about a woman that you either have emotions for or you want to work with someone wants you to turn your back on someone else uh so this is like a succubus incubus spirit uh and i'm sorry to use I mean, i'm not sorry i am about to lie to you folks i am about to lie to you i ain't sorry this this these knuckleheads have been out here just causing havoc in people's lives for no reason. This incubus, succubus spirit wants you to turn your back and reject someone that you may care genuinely for. I don't know if this is a queen of cups that you care about. Maybe you've been hiding your emotions or something like that. But you know this woman to be in the upright. But there's someone that's been in your energy trying to manipulate you about this woman so that you can turn your back on them, reject them, and just leave them out in the cold. There's a reason why this woman is doing this. And I think it has to do with something. You're an emperor, right? Yes, you are. It has to do with her wanting you to either choose her or give her something. Someone wants to be with you for money. That's the only reason they want to be attached to you. Because of how it looks. The social class you are a part of. You could be someone that's very wealthy. Someone very established in life. Uh, someone very uh, uh, goal oriented. Someone very uh, balanced. Your foundation is solid. And she don't got none of that. So she wants you to reject the person that you know to be of high honor. Someone respectable. Someone sophisticated. Someone down to earth. Nurturing. Compassionate. Everything you're looking for within a person. In a woman. She wants you to turn your back on that person. So that you can give her an offer. And this is a woman that does nothing but what tell lies. You cut someone in a lie. Is what I'm hearing. You cut someone in a lie. This is a woman that does nothing but lie. Okay. Everything that comes out of her mouth is a lie. It's a manipulative tactic. Someone is a very sophisticated manipulator. Okay. Uh, so I think you are picking up, picking up on that. Um, and maybe she does not know that, but you are picking up on someone's energy and you know that they don't have any good intent for you. And someone is just acting the part. This is a narcissist you're dealing with because they want you to give you, they want you to get, she wants you to give her some type of offer, but you're taking that offer somewhere else to someone that's committal, someone that's solid, hardworking, determined, and disciplined, right? Someone that's a thinker, a healer, someone that's either recovering from something or trying to heal. This is someone of high honor. You want to give some type of new beginning to, some type of offer to, that's going to lead to an ace of pentacles. This woman that's in your energy, that's lying to you, uh, putting herself out to be someone that's divine, someone that's genuine, someone that's a queen of cups, is not any of the above. Someone is very toxic, very karmic. Uh, she has done this before, is what I'm hearing. She has manipulated other men before uh, so that she could get from them. This is her tactic. Uh, this woman is under some type of judgment as well. May have been working with a queen, uh, probably a queen of pentacles as well. Has been working with a king of pentacles behind the scenes. A king of pentacles reverse to hinder someone else's life, to destroy someone basically. Okay, so you, she wants you to cut your losses and move on. Um, from someone, you may be going through some type of disappointment, like some type of remorse right now. You may be wanting, um, to communicate with whoever it is that you are interested in working with. And she's doing something. Like this woman is in your immediate vicinity. Okay, I don't know if you work with her. You're in a relationship with I don't know what this is. But someone is a heavy manipulator. Okay, heavy manipulator. Uh, I'm trying to see what kind of energy I can liken her to. Uh... Watch it like a night a lifetime movie when when you have like the 
sociopath, those psychopathic, narcissistic energies, those women that just will stop at nothing to get what it is they want. They don't care if they got to pretend to like you. They don't care if they got to pretend to like your dog. They don't care if they got to pretend to be a different race. They don't care if they got to pretend to like sushi. They will do whatever it is that they have to, to get what it is they want out of you. So she wants you to cut your losses and move on. You could be hurting right now uh, or just disappointed, but you're not cutting your losses to move on from the person that you want to work with. You are actually trying to recover. You could even be trying to balance something out with someone and she's pissed off about this. She's pissed off, mad, confused that you are trying to fix something with someone, okay? Like you're not trying to hide your emotions. You're not trying to pretend like you don't care for someone. You're not trying to pretend like someone is not important to you and it has her pissed off behind the scenes. She could be trying to hide this with this four of cups out here. She's trying to hide her anger. Baby, I don't think you care, sir. The way I see you, <laughs> the way I see you, the way I feel, yes, sir, you don't give to us if she's mad or not. You said, shit, that's your problem. Baby, I love your energy. You is the vibe that come. You... <laughs> yeah. Whew, you said, that is your problem. I don't give two Fs. <laughs> How you feel about it? Whether you're happy, sad, miserable, pretending, I don't care. Because this is you here. Uh, you, you, something, you're privy. You are privy to something this woman has been doing. And this is why you're not hiding your emotions anymore. You're not in remorse anymore. You're coming out uh, of hiding. Uh, you're coming away from hiding your emotions for either a queen of cups or uh, some uh, woman that you are interested either in working with. With the cups out here, this is someone you're romantically interested in. And she's repulsed at the fact that you are interested in a queen of cups because she feels like she's better than this person. She feels like she's a higher class than this person, but don't got nothing going on for herself. This is someone that steals from other people in order to look and live a certain way. Again, I said she's done this to other men before. So you and the first one, she has manipulated into getting giving to her or getting into some type of situation uh, with her. This is someone that's about to be losing everything because of what it is they invested in. And she knows it's coming. That's why she's out here worried about all of the actions she was taking to sabotage communications between you and this person. And it's been balanced out. So this woman here has been blocking communications between you and someone. Invasion of privacy, basically. Okay, logging into accounts that don't belong to her. So that someone does not receive your communications and things like that. A sis got some type of legal issues coming in. Who had like a brother or a friend that's a cop in the judicial system that she's been misusing to help her with some type of situation. Um, and she's going through a lot of heartbreak and distress because she hasn't been able to stop something from taking place. You're still wanting to connect with this Queen of Cups and it is it has her in distress. It's a karmic down, karmic down. IO3, karmic down, three of swords. Okay, it's what that is. Uh, but someone is like, I don't know if she's like losing her mind, about to spaz out, whatever this is. She's like, someone is like on the verge of losing it. She is trying really hard to keep her mask on. Okay, you know how in the movies those witches, uh, by day they have like a bodysuit they put on, and then by night. That body, by the time the night night hour hits, uh, by the time the sun sets, their body suit is so uncomfortable. Their skin is itching. They're irritable and everything. They got to take that stuff off as quickly as possible. And that's what that woman is going through. It's that, ugh, he's attracted to her. Ugh, she, she, she's repulsive. Oh my God, why would he be attracted to her of all people? She is, she is, uh, uh what, did, what did she, what did she say? Uh, she is so uh, uh, beneath me. I'm better than her. Uh, she's like a low life. She, baby, this woman's mouth is reckless. Reckless. Okay? She thinks something is wrong with you for being attracted to the person that you are attracted to. Can you imagine that? Someone that has their hand out to you. Uh-huh. They think that whoever you are interested in makes you look unfit or something. But she still wants your money. Your money ain't unfit now. <laughs> she still wants that money. <laughs> she still wants that money. Okay? She still wants that money. You could be trying to recover something, fix something, 
Uh, I don't know what this is. You're trying to fix. Maybe you're trying to go towards someone and, and, and mend things with them. You're trying to find the strength to go towards someone. Yeah, you're trying to f find the strength to move on from this karmic situation and go mend something somewhere else, okay? Work with someone, invest in someone's business or something of that nature. Uh, something is just... It's turning you off about an energy because I think this is someone you've been around for quite a long time with this eight of swords out here. And maybe you didn't know she was manipulating you or maybe you weren't paying attention to her manipulative tactics. But you've picked up on it and you're still playing your role and acting like you don't know what it is she's been doing. But the whole time, you know this is a liar living in fear about you moving on, taking actions, right? And it's causing conflict for her and her friends that's been helping her behind the scenes to uh, block communications between you and someone and to destroy that other person, that woman from behind the scenes that you are interested in. They're arguing about you giving to someone right? Which is going to put them in some type of beautiful energy, help them invest a little bit more into themselves as well or into their work, whatever this is. Like you're going to give a little to someone and they're going to multiply it into a whole goddamn a lot. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Like you're about to give like a, a pitch of pentacles offered to someone and they're going to get out here and turn it into an eight of pentacles because maybe sometimes that's all you need. That financial assistance it's like, I can take it from here. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's all I needed. That is all I had needed. Baby, I got the whole plan. I got everything laid out. We're good. You did your part. Look at you. Look at you. May the most high continue to multiply your pockets. But I got it from here, sir. I got it from here. That's how it is sometimes. But these people are pissed off. Pissed off. Angry. Mad. Trying to hold their anger in. Hiding their anger. Trying to hide the truth. Baby, they're trying to hide the truth about how they really feel. About you giving to this other energy. This Someone that's independent. Someone that does things on their own. Someone that's self-minded. Uh, someone that has a very strong will to survive, to thrive. Because I see that eight of pentacles out here. Someone is very strong-willed. Okay? Someone may have started out with a little and they've worked really hard to get to where they are and the kind of energy around you does not even understand what that is what that means because these are people that feel entitled to what belong to other people um so they don't even understand the value of working for what it is that you want in life doing things or acquiring things based on merit they feel like hey if i can get it I, I, i'm gonna take it they don't care how they're taking it or how they're getting it they gotta steal it they don't mind okay but whoever you're trying to go towards, you see them as someone of, of high honor. You like their character. They stand for something. They're working towards something. They're investing in something. They invest in themselves. And you like things like that. Okay? This uh, queen of wands around you that's been manipulating you, playing with your mental, could be upset that she's not able to keep something. She's not able to control something because she's been controlling the narrative for a long time about someone else trying to take some type of reckless, impulsive action as well to do something, but she's been either kept from doing that or she cannot do it. I don't know what this is, but this woman is a nutcase, basically. You've been being got. She, played, she pulled one over you, okay? She's been playing a number to stop you from balancing something out to having wish fulfillment whatever this is to having a friendship to ending something it's the end of all the manipulations i think you're tired sir you are tired you are tired you're putting an end to this woman taking reckless actions against another person if this was a competition you're like i'm done with this nonsense like it ain't going nowhere you're losing every day you're losing by the moment this woman ain't even doing nothing to you and you're still losing i don't know like some women there's something they don't understand. The moment you take action to try and destroy another woman so you can make them seem unfit, you already told that either that masculine or that institution or whatever the situation is, you already told the other party that you're unfit. You are not qualified for whatever it is you are wanting them to consider you for whether it's a relationship it's a job position a business opportunity the moment you take action to destroy someone else whether you do it from behind the scenes whether you do it publicly that person or institution is just watching you and i don't care how low vibrational they are they know to watch out for you so even criminals they have common sense it's that shoe i see how you be doing all the people now nah, you can't come to my house Nah, I don't got no five dollars to give you. Nah, we ain't people like we ain't peeps. We ain't peeps. We work together. We ain't peeps though. You you feel me? 
Yeah, so whatever she's been doing, however she thinks she was going to win, she thought she was going to win, is the very way that she ensured, this is the very way she ensured her own loss, her own ending. Because someone is very reckless, very impulsive, uh, someone is very uh, insecure and entitled to what belongs to other people and does not care what actions she takes to end other people so that she can have what it is that she wants to have in life. And you're seeing her for who she is. Not who she's been presenting herself as, but for who she really is. Someone's been desperate out here to have some type of love offer given to her. This woman feels alone. With this eight of swords coming after her, she feels alone. She feels rejected. She feels like nobody loves her. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm sure this is someone with family. Maybe a mom, maybe a child, whatever. I'm sure they love her. But this is someone that acts from their lower energy, their shallow side. So, she feels insecure internally she feels alone and rejected in like there's something with this woman like she's broken because she's hurting on the inside so she does not mind taking actions to hurt other people it's that saying that goes hurt people hurt people so because she's hurting on the inside she thinks it's her job to hurt other people especially people that have not done anything to her people that don't even deserve what it is she's doing she just got under some type of illusion that she was in competition with someone maybe it was brought to her attention that you were interested in working with someone. Maybe it was really just you wanting to work with this person. And she took it as you thought this person was better than her. Or you thought, you know, she was not worth your time. Or whatever it is she thought. She had to prove herself that she was the best one of them all. And the whole time the other lady is not even paying you all any mind. It's something like some type of competition that's, that was one-sided. It's been one-sided. And that's the truth. This is clarity. It's been one-sided the whole time, the whole mother effing time. Someone may not even be aware of this Queen of Wands reverse. That's the sad part. And she and her friends, maybe they're worried and burdened because these two people are still coming together, whether in love or work, still coming together and balancing something out, okay? That's sad to be coming after someone and they don't even know you. They ain't worried about you. ain't even aware of your presence and you're trying to make them feel uncomfortable in life. And the whole time they're just wondering, oh, now what the heck is going on? I know I just woke up like at 6 a.m. this morning. It's about 6.03 and it's already something going on. What the heck is going on? It's this half out here behind the scenes trying to temper with your energy, ma'am. It's her behind the scenes trying to temper with your energy. She's still trying to prove to an emperor, emperor that she's the bee's knees. But the emperor knows the whole time. She ain't the bee's knees, and he's moving on. He said, girl, who you think you're fooling with? I'm older than you. I've been here longer than you. This is a whole emperor. You're showing up as a queen of wands. Baby, that man know more than you know, and you will ever know. By the time you acquire the amount of knowledge he has, he won't be here no more. Okay? I won't be here no more. And I'm not saying that as in, as, as in he's old or something. Ain't nothing wrong with age. Age ain't nothing but a number. I ain't, I ain't talking about no R. Kelly and Malia kind of situation. Now. Age ain't nothing but a number. But this man here that I'm seeing, someone is very sophisticated. Someone is very much intellectual, very high vibrational, very self-assured. Showing up as an emperor, baby, please. You're wasting your time playing games with yourself thinking you're playing with an emperor. Emperors, baby, they'll sit back and watch you. Now, you got some emperors I don't got time for the BS. They'll cut you right off at BS. As soon as they sniff BS in the air, they'll cut they'll cut it out real quick. But a lot of emperors, they'll just sit there and listen to you. When you're done, they'll, yeah, that's all it was. They were just listening to you. They ain't taking nothing you said seriously. So you could be in this man's ears trying to manipulate him about the woman he's interested in giving to. And maybe he's just sitting there listening to you, but he already know what it is you are. And you don't know the whole time you're sabotaging yourself. You are sabotaging yourself while trying to sabotage another energy, another woman. Trying to steal what belongs to another woman. You crazy, girl. You crazy. I don't know what kind of D-game he put on you or even if he put any type of D-game on you. But, baby, <laughs> had to be real good. It had to be real magical because ain't no way you're going to catch Cynthia out here doing all this nonsense for me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, sir. Did that sound like it's a demonic kind of D you need to get away from? If you ask me, he said, you know what? That one time, that's all I needed. Won't need to do nothing else. 
I ain't trying to be out here sprung out on nobody. You have a good day. You have a blessed day. Thank you for the good time. May the odds forever be in your favor for whoever you're going to. Keep it to yourself when it comes to me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Be, he'll be thinking about it like, what the heck? Yeah, I ain't trying to be addicted to nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. But whoever this woman is, if you put it down on her, she got sprung. Or if you give money to her, she's obsessed with money. This is a greedy Jesse Bell. Someone is just after you for money. Maybe going through some type of financial like. Whatever this is. Done lost a lot of money trying to destroy another person. Yeah, baby. Starcy, I, I wouldn't hurt my head. Everything is being balanced out for you. The truth is out about a whole family. What they've been working on behind the scenes when it comes to you. Uh, how they've been trying to destroy you. Together, this has been a family affair. This has been a family affair of trying to destroy a light worker and block a connection, block a collaboration, block you from being able to move on, Emperor. They say you cannot move on. You got to stay here. You say you got me fought up in one or two many ways. I do what I want. I do what I please. Okay. I don't work very hard to get to where I am in life. And ain't no mother ever per <laughs> mother ever in person for to tell me, for to tell me that I can't or can't do something. That's my business. Okay. Chuck those loose up. He's out. And they're mad because the truth is out. The truth is being illuminated. Uh, someone is not confused anymore. Uh, he ain't living in no cave no more when it comes to what's really going on. Because whoever this emperor is, I don't know where you've been, sir. But someone has been just pulling the wool over your head like every day. Woo! Woo! Just, just, just working you. And you've been, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I, I think you were playing along, but whatever it was, you did a good job if you were playing along, like I said earlier. Like you, you caught on to this woman and she didn't know you caught on to her and she kept going with something. Even now, she knows you know something and she's still trying to do something. She's still trying to sabotage another energy. This is how insecure and immature this woman is. And she don't even know, like, she's already disqualified. <laughs> so, it's like, at this point, you're losing everything. So, she said, I don't care. I'm going to go out with a bang. Baby, you're going to be in a penitentiary getting banged. You better sit your behind down. Talking about, I'm going to go out with a bang. No, you're not. You're going to get your head banged in the penitentiary. You better sit down somewhere. And that's how you're going to end this chapter if you ain't careful. Talking about keep going. Nobody's going to do it. I'll do it myself. Charge. Lockdown, clink, clink. Melissa, 25 years. 25 years for what? Oh, girl, come on. You didn't know you've been being watched the whole time. You were being monitored. And you owe this person money now. So you're going to have to figure out how to pay them their money. But this 25 years here, you're going to have to stay. <laughs> You're going to be serving it 25 years without parole, nothing. Just out here committing crimes but because, what, you got a family member in the prison system? Or you got a, a long-time friend in the prison system? And the prison system is going to is about to teach you a lesson. You say, well, I don't care who you got in here. <laughs> Anyways, Melissa, you're headed for poverty. This man has made a decision to have a brand new passionate beginning with someone else. Give this contract. To this energy here the queen of cups okay you can be in distress all you want but they're still having a brand new passionate beginning may end up getting married or working together but this but the contract is intact between these two people and these are two people that are gifted by the way and these two people may even communicate on a spiritual level like he could meditate she could meditate and they be connecting spiritually like they intuitively know something will be balanced out they will meet when it is time to meet. So, yeah, I've been wasting your time. I don't know how much money you invested in blocking someone, but, girl, the, the, the universe is laughing at you. They're laughing at you. Someone's ancestors are laughing at you. But, anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. i see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.